and today I'm going to show you um, how to make a simple um, message box pop up using Auto Hotkey, the program that I told you to download in my Auto Hotkey introduction. Okay, well once you've downloaded it and installed it, if you right click, you'll be able to make a new Auto Hotkey script. So we select that. Okay, we're going to name this um, A is message box or boss, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter what you call it really. Okay, edit script. Um, okay, we brought up with this. It shows a little template of what you're using. Um, these little inputs, no environment recommended, so and so and so and so. Okay. Um, okay. If you want to make this script hidden, you add um, hash no tray icon. Okay. That's um, because with auto hotkey. Um, now hotkey is running it goes down into the tray here okay um, right now I'm gonna for example if someone was to press the A button then it would bring up a message box so to put this in we want to put a little wavy line type thing <laughs> and then A or lowercase A depending on whichever one you want to use colon colon okay this is the little starting part that means if A is pressed in English, okay? And then we want to put a um, message box. This is similar to a lot of other commands, for example, in Visual Basic. Um, but in auto, but in auto hotkey, we don't need to put any brackets or apostrophes. It's just that line is message box now. So we're going to put um, you pressed A. But don't worry about other spaces just needs one after message box and that will bring that up and then we want to put exit because I don't really want to be having this happen all the time so I'm going to save save and then double click the script and it's running now A ok you pressed A if you want to compile the script go to all programs auto hotkey convert HK to EXE we find the source script is in desktop. Oh crap. Desktop. A is message box. Destination. Um, A is. Oh man, I need to turn off this script. Uh, okay. Okay. Auto hotkey. That's what you want to end. Because the exit bit didn't work. Alright. Um, A is message box. .exe. Save. Right, um, we don't really need. Okay, we'll just put the tick as the icon and then NA to prevent decompiling. You don't really need to do this because he's going to decompile it to message box. Okay, conversion complete. See it here? Okay, we're going to run this. It's running. And A. Okay, A. Okay. And to get rid of it, control or delete, go to task manager. And A is next to the box. Press A again, and that's it. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you need any help on the coding, I'll put it in the description on the right. And please subscribe.